Hey guys, this is Matt here, and the NHL 14 achievements just came out today, so this is pretty good news. Nothing's really been released since the cover vote thing, so I, I actually feel a lot better about the game after reading the achievements. I wasn't expecting much from it, but it seems like they actually improved a lot of the game mode, so uh, to start it off, the first achievement on the list is called League of Champions for 30 gamer score. And what you have to do is be a member of an EASHL team that has recently won the league title and returned to the season hub. So I don't know what the league title is. I don't know if that's the same as what it is now. Like you just, uh, I don't know if that's winning the playoffs or finishing first overall in a lead or a pro or whatever. I don't know. Um, the second one is called conference champions. Uh, be a member of an EASHL club that has recently won a division title and returned to the season hub. For 15 gamer score. I don't know what the difference is between division. I think division would be elite, pro, and amateur. And uh, the league title would be playoffs, but I, I'm not sure. Um, the next one is called Honor Roll for 30 gamer score. You have to be a member of an ESHL club that has had a perfect record last season and returned to the season's hub. So that's kind of the same as before. The next one's called Victorious for 15 gamer score. You have to be a member of an ESHL club that has recently won a playoff cup and returned to the season hub. So I guess all that stuff's different from uh, the playoffs because the playoff cup is <laughs> winning the playoffs, obviously. I don't know what all the other kind of titles that they're talking about were, but it seems pretty cool. Um, next one's called Promotions for All. You have to be a member of an ESHL club that has recently been promoted and returned to the season hub. So I'm thinking that is uh, like getting moved up from pro to elite or whatever. Not positive, but that's what I think. It's for 15 gamer score. Next is called Lead by Example. As a captain or assistant captain, be named one of the three stars during an ESHL match. Kind of the same as before. Next one is called Power to the Max for 15 gamer score. You boost one of your online pros players' attributes by plus 15, so that's pretty cool. Next one is Coast to Coast for 30 gamer score. Starting from behind your net, skate up the ice and score without passing. That was in NHL 13 for sure. I don't know a lot of the achievements from NHL 13. Some of these might be the same. I didn't really pay attention to them, so I don't know. I know some of them are. Uh, the next one is called Clutch. You score a goal and win in overtime in online versus for 15 gamer score. Next is High Risk, High Reward for 30 gamer score. Score a goal with your goalie pulled. I never pull my goalie in NHL, so I'm probably not ever going to get that one. But uh, Next is Undressed. For 15 gamer score, you score a goal on a goalie who hasn't been perform or who has performed a desperation save in online rank shootout. Uh, next is locked and loaded for 15 gamer score, score on a slap shot in online rank shootout. Next is promising start for 15 gamer score, get drafted first overall to an NHL team and be a pro with a created pro. So this is the start of the be a pro uh, achievements, and these are the ones that impress me the most. It seems like they really revamped the be a pro game mode and made it a lot better than what it was in the last game. Uh, the next one is called billboarded for 15 gamer score, sign an endorsement with be a pro in a with a, in be a pro with a created pro. Um, so that's new. Um, there was no endorsements or anything in be a pro in NHL 13. I actually played the game mode a bit. And that definitely was not in there. Um, next is called Accepted for 15 Gamer Score. Be invited out by one of your teammates and be a pro with a created pro. So that's pretty cool. It looks like you're going to have more of a personal life. Like more control of it in your be a pro. It's not just playing games and it's like it's not all just uh, based off your performance. It's actually real life stuff too which is really cool. Uh, next is called Number One Fan for 15 Gamer Score. Have your fan like ability meter full and be a pro with a created pro. Locker room favorite for 15 gamer score. Have your teammate like ability meter full and be a pro with a created pro. So it seems these meters will probably be determined by like your on or your off ice interviews and what you do off the ice. So that's kind of cool. It brings a new aspect to the game. Uh, next is called suck up for 15 gamer score. Have your management like ability meter be full and be a pro with a created pro. Next is called family man. Have your family like ability meter full and be a pro with a created pro. That's 15 gamer score, and that's really cool. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work, or if they're going to... It's like, reminds me of The Sims or something. I don't know. It's going to be really cool if they can incorporate all that, like, in a good way into the game mode. Uh, Media Superstars next for 15 gamer score. Perform a post and pre-match interview, and it'd be a pro with a created pro. So, 
that was something we were all expecting. The other ones were kind of nice surprises, but I was expecting that for Be a Pro in this game. Next is Making Millions for 30 Gamer Score. Acquire $50 million in your career and be a pro with Created Pro. So that's uh, something new. It keeps track of how much money you're having. Um, maybe you can like spend the money you make in your be a pro on different items, which will increase your likability meters. I don't know, but that's a really cool aspect of it because in the last game in be a pro, you get offered a contract, but the amount of money didn't even really matter. You couldn't do anything with it. It wasn't like an award or anything, how much money you're making. So it's cool they did something with it. And now the next couple are for the new fighting, which I'm not really that excited about. It's not really that big a deal to me, but I guess it's cool they updated it. Uh, the first one's called Tough as Nails for 30 gamer score. Win a fight without blocking, dodging. Uh, next is called True Teammate for 15 gamer score. Age in a fight, standing up for a teammate, player, or goalie that was hit. Uh, Jerseyum for 15 gamer score. Land a successful punch in the fight state with your opponent pulled down. Next it's called Grappling for 15 gamer score. Win a fight by pushing or pulling a player to the ground. Next is called Escape Artist in a fight. Escape from the pulled down state. That's for 15 gamer score. Uh, there's some more new ones with the new one touch deeks. It's called Deking Machine for 30 gamer score. Beat a defender with each of the new one touch deeks in one match. Uh, from what we've seen so far in the trailers, the one touch deeks are just like newly animated and newly controlled old deeks that were in the game, like the your easy LB deeks. They're just newer and updated, so. It's going to be interesting to see what those are like. If they're actually new deeks that, and they have like somewhat challenging ones to do, that'll be really cool and it'll make some for some good videos, better montages for you guys. Um, next is called Where's My Water? Knock off the opposing goalie's water bottle from the net by scoring a goal for 15 gamer score. That's kind of cool. Puck on a string for 30 gamer score. Beat two defenders with one touch deeks before scoring a goal with the same player. And now we're getting into the BGM. Achieve Legendary GM status for 30 gamer score. That's not new. Real competition. Play in a GM connected league of 5 human GMs. That's 15 gamer score. Next is called Champions for 30 gamer score. Participate and win the Stanley Cup in a match in GM connected. Call for backup for 15 gamer score. Win a GM connected league match with an OTP partner. Prince of Wales for 15 gamer score. Win a title from any conference in Hockey Ultimate Team seasons. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that's all about. Win a title from any conference in Hockey Ultimate Team Seasons. Um, I don't know. Hopefully that's a new thing they're adding in. Uh, next one's called The Champ is Here for 15 Gamer Score. Win a Hockey Ultimate Team Seasons Playoff Championship. Uh, moving on up for 15 Gamer Score. Get your division promotion in Hockey Ultimate Team Seasons. I guess that's just... Maybe they're bringing in... Uh, Oh, they already have the Amateur Pro and Elite and Ultimate Team, actually. Never mind. I just don't play that game mode that often because I didn't think it was good at all in the last game. Hopefully they make it better for 14. The next one is called You're the Best for 30 Gamer Score. Win the league title in Hockey Ultimate Team Seasons. Next one's called On Fire. Have a perfect season record in Hockey Ultimate Team Seasons for 30 Gamer Score. The only thing that's bugged me about these is there are some pretty hard achievements on here, like a perfect record in Hockey Ultimate Team Seasons. Hopefully you have to have like a minimum amount of games played to get that, but it's only 30 gamer score, which is kind of a ripoff. That's a pretty hard achievement to get. Anyway, the next is called changing skins. Change the team of a player by using a change team item in Hockey Ultimate Team. And then we have Mad Scientist for 15 gamer score. Use the line assistant feature to set up your lines in Hockey Ultimate Team. Uh, chosen one, assign a captain to your Hockey Ultimate Team using the assigned captain card for 15 gamer score. Collector. Collect at least one player item from each of the NHL teams in Hockey Ultimate Team Mode for 15 Gamer Score. Master Collector. Collect at least one player item from each team in Hockey Ultimate Team Game Mode for 100. Oh, that's 100, actually. 100 Gamer Score. I didn't notice that before. That's pretty cool. Collect at least one player item from each hockey. I don't even know what that's saying, What like what it means. Collect at least one. I don't know. I'm about to figure that one out after. Uh... Next one's called What Are You Buying for 15 Gamer Score? Buy 25 card packs from the Hockey Ultimate Team Store. Hopefully they make the packs a lot better this year because last year they sucked. They ruined the game mode for me. Um, next is called Wheelin' and Dealin'. Buy and or sell 150 items in the Hockey Ultimate Team Auction House for 15 Gamer Score. The stars have aligned. Collect a Star of the Week player item in Hockey Ultimate Team Mode for 15 Gamer Score. Going to the bank, redeem pucks in Hockey Ultimate Team for 15 Gamer Score. 
how hospital of you complete the hospitality settings. I have no idea what those are. Uh, 15 gamer score, and then a moment of greatness. Win an NHL moments live moment on superstar difficulty for 15 gamer score. So those are all your achievements for NHL 14. Um, it's definitely gotten me a lot more excited about the game than I was before, especially with the be a pro aspect and ultimate team. It looks like they made those game modes a lot better, fixed some of the things people were complaining about, and yeah, hopefully the game turns out a lot better than uh, NHL 13 did. Wasn't that impressed with it, but it looks like this game's going to be good. And we'll have more information for you guys soon. Like as soon as it comes out, we'll be posting it. So stay tuned. And that's all for now, guys. We'll see you later.